Hi, I'm Monty, and this video is for students at the University of the Sunshine Coast studying Management Accounting. In this video, we'll address some of the key concepts in Topic 1, Workflow and Process Analysis. But before looking at the nitty-gritty of managing operations, it's important to see the big picture. We need to understand what to focus on and how it contributes to overall performance. Later in the topic, we talk about how to manage operations. You'd never guess it, but I could have been a famous snowboarder. I could have won medals at the Olympics. So what happened? Why am I teaching management accounting instead? My story is all about how resources come together to create capabilities. Certain capabilities may then be core competencies, and core competencies provide sustainable competitive advantage if they're valuable, rare, inimitable, and non-substitutable. Competitive advantage is the goal of any athlete. It's also the goal of any organization. It's the basis for making a profit. So what would I need to be a professional snowboarder? Let's take a resource-based view. Resources are all those things that I need to be a snowboarder. And we'll start with the resources that I can see and touch, the tangible resources. Well, I'll need a snowboard, bindings, boots, gloves, and a jacket. These are examples of physical resources. But not just any board and bindings will do. To compete against the world's best, I'll need a board that's light and has just the right amount of flex. That requires the latest technology. In order to continually update my equipment, get to the snow, and buy lift passes, I'll need money, financial resources. I can't do everything myself. Booking flights and accommodation, organizing entries into competitions, paying tax on all my winnings. They're just some of the organizational structures I'll need to support me so I can focus on the snow. But so far, I don't have what I need to be a professional snowboarder. Some of the most important resources are intangible. My experience and skill as a snowboarder, a coach that knows how to motivate me, the determination and will to succeed, these are just some of the human resources necessary to be the best. But whatever skills and abilities I have now, they'll quickly be copied by other snowboarders, which is why continual innovation is necessary. Finally, to make money as a professional snowboarder, it's important that other people know about me. It's only by developing and maintaining a reputation that I'll be able to attract sponsorships and then one drug charge and it would all be over. Hey, so that's great. Now that I've got my shopping list of resources ready, I can go out and become the world's greatest snowboarder. Right? Wrong. Resources are useless unless they are put into action. It's capabilities that are important. Capabilities are the capacity to deploy resources. Just having all the gear and getting to the top of the mountain doesn't mean I can get down it in one piece. Now that I've got the capability to do some really cool tricks, does that make me the world's greatest snowboarder? Unfortunately, my frontside indie won't be worth anything if everyone else can do it. It must be rare. The judges, the public, and the sponsors must like it. It must be valuable. It must be difficult for others to copy me. It must be inimitable. And the tricks that other competitors can do must not be as good as mine. My capabilities must be non-substitutable. So I need to have lots of capabilities. Some, like being able to get off the lift without falling on my face, are capabilities that everyone in the industry has to have. Other capabilities, like my front side indie, might give me an advantage for a while, but what I'm really after is a few capabilities that I can focus on as my core competence. So what makes a snowboarder the best in the world? Maybe it's creativity, plus technological breakthroughs, plus reputation, plus courage. These tangible and intangible resources come together to create the capability to learn new tricks faster than anyone else. The purpose of thinking about the organization in terms of resources, capabilities, and core competencies is to identify those core competencies that they really need to focus on so that they can make sure that they continue to provide the resources necessary to maintain that competitive advantage. In summary, you should be able to give examples of tangible and intangible resources. You should understand how resources come together to provide capabilities. You should know the four characteristics that are necessary to provide sustainable, competitive advantage. Thanks. That's the end of this video.